of Huge and Strong. I'm joined here at the SBD booth at the Arnold 2017 with basically the biggest legend in the history of the sport of strongman, Bill Kazmaier. How's it going today, Bill? Really good, thank you. So we just watched the first day one of the strongman events here. We had the, uh, what did we have, the frame carry well, and the bales. We had bales and then the frame up the ramp. Yeah, so, uh, it was quite an event. You know, with the frame, uh, you could lose flesh, but luckily they gave them straps. With the bales, he started at 1,300 pounds and then moved up to 1,565 pounds. Uh, needless to say, strongest man's winning both events. Brian Shaw came in in great shape. He and Half Thor are going to battle it out, but it may be 5-0 and oh for Shaw. It's hard to tell. I don't want to jinx Half Thor, but it's not looking good. So, Bill, you're on a stage with a bunch of absolutely enormous human beings. And you're no small, small fellow yourself. What is it like being up on the stage with guys who, you know, you competed in the same sport, but they are just absolutely so huge nowadays. What's it like, the evolution of physically the sport of strongman? Well, we'd have to say that back 35 years ago, if you saw the movie Everest and the climb of the Great Mountain, I put my flag on top of that mountain. I climbed over other greats like uh, Don Reinhout. I made Don Reinhardt quit in the deadlift in my first World Strongest Man competition. He just said, if he wants to do all that, he can have it. And then I beat him again and again and won three times. I was at the top of the mountain. I've always, through my life in these 30 years, tried to help others on their ascent. I never dreamt that there'd be a guy 6'8", 440, 6'9", 430 uh, coming along. They're here. They're real. Although... There may have been bigger guys than them. If you look at the book Enoch, the book of Enoch that they didn't put in the Bible, there were giants, men as tall as 200 feet, many men in civilizations of 35 feet, 100 feet. They're finding remains of them all over the world. So if you wanted to get into the real shit, look back in history, these may not be the strongest men in the history of the world, but they're the strongest men today, and I'm happy to be on stage with them they're still not that much stronger than I was. I did a lot of my stuff torn up, but uh, I would love to live today and to be able to compete against Zadrunas and Half Thor and Brian and Eddie, realizing my best weight was 330. These guys are 100 pounds more. I think if, if my chemistry set had been tweaked right and my nutrition and right climate, quite possibly I could have been 400 pounds, which then would have put lifts just totally out of sight then the world would have been in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, a lot of fun, though. Uh, great event. You know, Thanks for what you do with your podcast and all the rest. Uh, you're doing a great job. Hope everybody keeps tuning in. You get a lot of good info, a lot of insights, understandings of how to get strong, how to stay strong, how to use your strength. You know, Wherever we go, we try to go into a community and leave it better than we found it. So it really is a bit of a higher calling. It's paying back. I made a promise that if I was made the best in the world, I'd be humble, I'd share my talents with others. One day the Lord could speak through me and I'd work for him. In one day I went to 10 schools. In three days I went to 27 schools, giving a message of hope and inspiration to young people, trying to help them to be champions and winners. So thanks for the time, yes. thanks for all you do. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot, Bill. Uh, signing off here with the uh, greatest legend in the history of Strongman Sports, and I am just a huge fan, Bill. Thanks a lot. The Arnold Classic 2017. Stay tuned for more great stuff. That's right. Thanks a lot, Bill.